okay so guys the next standard in our series is sa505 so what is this sa505 external confirmation so there are two words here one is external pavan sir few minutes back we studied if it is external it is more reliable yes do you remember in the reliability of audit evidence we have discussed if it is external it is reliable more reliable okay very good then what about confirmation confirmation means you went to a railway station and you are enquiring for a confirmation try to understand the role play you went into the counter and you asked sir shatabdi express which platform it will come sir it will come on four only no so in your mobile app you saw fourth platform on the screen you saw fourth platform but still you do not want to take risk you do not want to straight go to the platform and then train will come into another platform you will know so you have some information in your mobile app or in your uh, on the screen in railway station they said it comes in fourth floor but still you are little conservative guy or you had bad experiences what do you do you will go to that enquiry counter and you will ask him sir shatabdi express will it come on fourth only or sometimes you ask sir which platform shatabdi express will come on you know that it is four but you will not tell that it is four uh, there are two types of enquiries either you will ask which platform shatabdi will come or you will ask shatabdi is coming on four only no anything is inquiry the other person the executive of the indian railways he looked at you and said ha ah, baba shatabdi express fourth platform go now happily you are like okay chalo take the trolley and go to platform number 4 what is the difference between he confirmed before he confirmed and after he confirmed confidence level after he confirmed don't you think the confidence level is more that is what we call confirmation confirmation is the response to inquiry auditor inquired the other party is responding to the inquiry that is called confirmation so always in confirmation remember there are three parties in any external confirmation there are three parties okay what is party 1 party 1 is your client then third party external then auditor okay client in the financial statements they said something for for example they said they said fd 1 crore they said they have fd of 1 crore they have a debtor x limited say this is a limited the client is a limited debtor x limited x limited have to pay 50 lakhs to me in the financial statements they said x limited have to pay 50 lakhs to me they said creditor p limited has we have to pay 38 lakhs to them we have to pay 38 lakhs to them inventory with third party investment with third party stock lying in third party go down okay then investments in safe custody certain things in bank locker then bank balances cash at bank debtors creditors these are the areas where the auditor usually go for external confirmation so now what auditor will do you know auditor will enquire third party auditor will enquire third party so now who is this third party this can be icici bank where your client has fd it can be x limited from which your client has to get 50 lakhs it can be p limited to which your client has to pay 38 lakhs so third party so auditor will enquire the third party the third party will give information to the auditor not to a limited so this is why we call it direct enquiry the third party has to give the information to the auditor the third party has to give the information to the auditor now the question arises third party might ask the auditor who the hell are you kone betu so if i go to icici bank and say hey uh, a limited fd they have 1 crore banker will ask who the hell are you so first you need to 
take in writing from the client client should inform the third party that dear bank manager icici bank mg road branch mumbai dear sir we have appointed pavan kumar and company as our auditors to conduct statutory audit for the financial year 2019-2020 as a part of the audit to perform certain procedures they might request you certain balances we do not have any objection if you are giving balances if you are giving any information to the auditors which you know as a banker you can give with our authority so we are giving you permission if you are giving that details to auditor we do not have any objection then i if i am icici bank manager i have one customer and the customer is a limited a limited wrote a mail or a letter to me then this auditor letter came the auditor is asking dear manager please confirm whether you have this fd you know in the name of uh, my client who is a limited this is called mutual client so for bank and auditor for both of them a limited is the client if i am auditor a limited is my client for bank a limited is client it is called mutual customer or mutual client regarding our mutual client a limited could you please confirm the balance appearing in their fixed deposit account as on 31st march 2020 thanks and records regards so this reply will be sent directly by the third party to the auditor so here you have so many advantages the source of audit evidence is external point number 1 and it is directly received by the auditor not channelized through client bank is not giving the paper to client client is not handing it over to auditor because if this route happens again there is a chance for manipulation straight it is getting from third party you understand this is the process of external confirmation now the most important part is there are two types of external confirmation one is called positive confirmation one is called negative confirmation very 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 important from exam point of view very important from exam point of view so first what is external confirmation then what is positive confirmation what is negative confirmation so look at what is external confirmation an audit evidence obtained as a direct written representation to the auditor from a third party the confirming party in a paper form electronic form or any other medium positive confirmation negative confirmation positive confirmation is a request that the third party that the responding confirming party has to respond directly to the auditor indicating whether the confirming party agrees or disagrees with the information in the request or providing the requested information so i am writing it to icici bank manager dear sir as per the records maintained in x limited during the audit we came to know that the fixed deposit is 1 crore please confirm whether the balance is correct okay this is one second thing is i will not give any amount and i will say please let me know if a limited is having any fixed deposit in your account now when icici bank has to respond i am requesting them whether or not the balance is same please respond if the balance is 1 crore please say that it is 1 crore if the balance is something else please say that it is so that means you will write a reply to me if you agree with what i said you will write a reply to me if you disagree with what i said this is positive confirmation a negative confirmation is required only if there is a disagreement so i am asking the third party you please respond if the balance is correct you please respond if the balance is not correct second type of confirmation negative confirmation is i have written a letter to you and i will ask you please respond if you disagree with the details now if you have downloaded any bank statement or credit card statement you have a bank account net banking so from net banking you will download the statement no 
if you look at the download if you look at the statement at the end there will be a line these are the transactions and balances as per the records existing in the bank if there is any deviation or disagreement you are requested to communicate with the bank within 15 days otherwise we assume the balance to be correct so you downloaded the bank statement when will you respond you will communicate with the bank only if only if only if you disagree with the balance or any of the transaction when you have done any credit card transaction you will get one message dear state bank of india credit card holder this is to inform that a payment of 2500 is made to so and so payee if you have done with this if you have done this transaction no need to respond if you disagree if you have not initiated this transaction please call us immediately these are negative confirmations why they give negative confirmation you know every day millions of transactions will happen lakhs of people will download the bank statements so i cannot ask positive confirmation every time so i'll say if you agree keep quiet if you disagree tell me that is negative confirmation now you understand so many students they do not understand what is positive confirmation what is negative confirmation so many students do not understand that is the reason i thought let me explain this okay and also this is important from exam point of view then non-response sir i have written a letter to the creditor of my client my client has a creditor so here your client has a creditor no so this guy p limited you wrote a letter to p limited but p limited did not respond to you they have not written any response to you up to them no you will inquire they have not responded then what to do that is called non-response a failure of the confirming party to respond or to fully respond they are giving only part information to a positive confirmation request or a confirmation request returned undelivered you have sent a physical letter and that came back to auditor office address not found address he locked undelivered either they received it and not responding or they have not received my confirmation at all it amounts to non-response i will apply alternative procedures I will apply alternative procedures. Exception. What is exception? You have sent inquiry letter. They have sent confirmation response. Then there is a difference. Bank manager said, no, the fixed deposit is only for 92 lakhs. This is called exception. Exception is the difference between what your client said, client books of account said and what the response is. For example, there is a supplier. There is a supplier. So, what is the amount you need to pay to supplier? 38 lakhs. In your books, 38 lakhs. But P Limited wrote a mail to the auditor that A Limited has to pay 42 lakhs to them. Now, you are saying, you will ask the company, hey, you are saying you have to pay 38 lakhs to the other party. The other party is saying they have to receive 42 lakhs from you. Then this 4 lakhs can be goods in transit on the date of balance sheet possible no? goods in transit they have already sent goods so they recorded a sale so they said 4 lakh rupees goods sold you have not received goods so you have not recorded possible you understand this is called exception if there is any exception the auditor will inquire further into what why is there a difference Okay, now external confirmation procedures. Read this procedure, simple procedure, basic. Determining the information to be confirmed. What information you want? Do you want the closing balance? Do you want how many accounts this client has? So what you want? That is point number one. Point number two, imagine, imagine this A limited, your client, when you are conducting audit, they have 2,800 customers. Will you write confirmation letter to 2,800 customers? They have 1,200 suppliers. Possible, no? Big client. Will you write 1,200 confirmations? No. On sampling basis, you will pick 
based on the amount based on the frequency based on the related party based on the pricing based on the discounts based on the terms you have identified or you will identify some of the customers or some of the suppliers to them only you will write confirmation for example your client has so many bank accounts your client has so many bank accounts one bank account is there where the balance is 1281 rupees will you write external confirmation will you seek external confirmation from the bank manager for 1281 rupees no chodo ya leave it not material so second step is first step is what you want determine the information you need second one is select the appropriate confirming party there are so many parties to whom you will send this from whom you want this external confirmation that is to then designing the letter you will open the letter pavan kumar and company chartered accountants so and so road mumbai for example dated so and so dear sir request external confirmation for audit then with respect to the above subject matter we'd like to bring it to your notice that we are statutory auditors of a limited a limited is uh, a supplier to you or a limited is a customer of yours based on the books of account so and so blah 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 you please confirm positive negative what is the balance all this you will write now this is step 3 step 1 what you want step 2 from whom you want step 3 how you are writing the letter step 4 send the letter if required make a follow up call them and say dear sir we have sent one email to you i hope you have seen the email could you please respond call them nothing wrong external confirmations you will call them also and receiving the request rece receiving the confirmation from the party these are four steps this is also asked in the exam what is the procedure to be followed by the auditor while you know obtaining information through external confirmation procedures as per standard on auditing 505 then you have to write there are four steps step 1 determining the information step 2 select the appropriate third party step 3 designing the confirmation request step 4 sending the request including the follow up that's it clear is this clear now factors to be considered when designing confirmation request so step 3 is designing confirmation request now what are the factors to be considered now see this determining designing confirmation request specific identified risk of material misstatement including fraud risk so you have identified peculiar terms with one supplier then you want confirmation the layout and presentation of confirmation request like the formatting what kind of form you want what type of content should be there prior experience of the auditor on the audit or similar engagements so i know that last year there was mistake here so this year i do not want to take risk or i have been conducting other audits also usually in the other you know audits these are the common mistakes for example for example closing stock in other audits i have seen closing stock valuations are wrong so in this audit also probably closing stock valuation could be wrong something like that your previous experience experience from this audit experience from other assignments etc then the assertions being addressed so what are the audit assertions you are looking for like ownership rights and obligations charges on uh, you know the assets then the validation values depreciation all these things then the method of communication you want in email or you want on whatsapp or you want through a physical mail how you want that is one method of communication management's authorization this is required if management is not not authorizing the third party will not respond to you management's authorizing the ability of the intended confirming party to confirm or provide the requested information for example individual invoice amount versus total balance so you asked you know sir my client has purchased goods 12 times from you different different dates different invoices please confirm or my client has to pay you 22 lakhs please confirm you can do whatever you want that's it you understand with this we have completed external confirmation procedures simple any doubts